So I've been doing no porn, no masturbation for a long time, but semen retention, I'm not so sure about. Only today, really, have I been researching semen retention more seriously. Up until this point, I've seen it as a pseudoscience thing, and I've not been taking it that seriously. But here's the thing. Did our hunter-gatherer ancestors jerk off? Did they fuck? Right? Did they fuck? They didn't fucking jerk off. They were too busy walking around for hours on end, hunting, fighting, planning, strategizing, doing other shit. There's no way they were sat around jerking off. Now, and I've seen this thing on the internet where it's like, oh, chimps will not jerk off unless they're in captivity. And that's not to say that you need to do other shit to stop yourself from jerking off. It's just that when there's better options, when there's more shit to do, people tend to do that, you know? There's more important shit to do. When it comes to um, Rat Park, if you've read about Rat Park, basically Rat Park is where the rats would press this button for more... Everyone says... That drugs are addictive. This is going to do my nothing, but here we are. People say that cocaine and morphine and heroin, these are all addictive drugs. Because they think, ah, if you put a rat in a box and you give it the morphine button, it will press it until it dies. The thing is, in these experiments, they give the rat fucking nothing else to do. So the rat just keeps pushing it because it's, got, it's just got nothing to do. It's not in the wild. It's in this little cage. It has fuck all else to do. So it just keeps pressing it just to do something. When it comes to Rat Park, Rat Park is this extravagant rat paradise. It has these, like, it's got other rats in it. It has little toys, like wheels and shit. Basically, rats fucking, all the shit that rats love, they made that into fucking Rat Park. And then what happened, the rats did not hardly, they didn't use the morphine as much. You know, they didn't fucking do it. They didn't see much point in it. There was other shit to do. And this is just the same as with humans, like, you, but humans are a bit more complicated. We don't have to do, we don't need other physical shit in order to make us not jerk off. We just need to have ideas in our heads. We just need to have ideas about how jerking off isn't the best thing ever, how it's not even worth doing, how there are benefits to not jerking off, and we can make that change. We're not, the problem comes when you're deluded into thinking, oh, jerking off is the best thing under the sun. When you're in that delusional state, right? <clears throat> when you genuinely believe, ah, do jerking off releases dopamine and that causes addiction. Jerking off releases dopamine and that causes pleasure. When you have this simplistic view of things, yeah, you're going to view um, masturbation as this incredible thing. The other thing is, is that in life, it's generally, it's very, very abnormal to stick with one thing for your whole life and see that as pleasurable. It's very normal to move on. Right? And jerking off is no different. We've just been convinced that it's the best thing under the sun. The point of this whole fucking video is when it comes to semen retention, I do not believe that human beings are meant to be jerking off a shitload. Before I saw it as inconsequential, even though I didn't do it, I just saw it as like, ah, it's just pointless. Now I think... There's no fucking way we're meant to do this. It's a colossal waste of energy. It's a waste of physical energy as well. And here's the thing about semen retention. is online, you'll see so much pseudoscience. I'm a very scientific sort of guy. I don't fucking fall for bullshit anymore. I have in the past, and that's why I don't fall for it now. When it comes to stuff like, oh, spiritually, semen retention will increase your blah, 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 blah. I just see it as a placebo effect, you know? Fuck it. That's, there's no way that's real. But when it comes to physical energy, jerking off and coming fucking drains you physically. There's no way you're going to be as strong. You're going to be as fast. You're going to be as agile. It, it, it releases prolactin. We know that. And it makes you feel like shit. It does. And everyone knows this. When you jerk off, what's the first thing what happens after you have sex with a girl? After you have sex with a girl, you're like, oh, you come, you're right? You're like, oh. and then the first thing, oh, you just like lay on her, like flop. You just like, you fucking like, <laughs> right? I think with sex, it's more intense because you're actually trying and it's quite cardio intense, perhaps, or something. But it's more emotionally intense as well. But with jerking off, you still are releasing that prolactin. It's still not good. And I think people conflate. This is the other problem is that people conflate prolactin release with uh, mental relaxation. Basically, anytime you're conflating anything physical with mental, you're fucking it up. If you view porn as a, as a way to change your thoughts into pleasurable thoughts, you're going to fucking use it loads, no matter who you are. Because you're going to see it as this objective path to pleasure. 
I don't think semen retention. I think see, a lot of semen retention stuff you see online is bollocks from like bullshit religion, like Taoist shit. But I think a lot of it is actually very rooted in science, and it isn't placebo. Like if you if you see, like for me, if I see physical relaxation, I don't even know whether you can use relaxation. Physical. I wouldn't use the word relaxation. I'd use the word physical lowering of energy, physical dampening. If you see that as a positive then you're going to be motivated to masturbate. Me, I think that's a complete negative. If I'm being physically dampened, but it does nothing for my emotions. You know when you're stressed? I'd much rather be stressed out with a shitload of energy than be stressed out with no energy, physical energy. Um, if, you've, if you've been stressed out with no physical energy, it fucking blows. If you're stressed out, but you have a lot of physical energy. At least you, can, at least you have more of a means to do something. So I think a lot of semen retention is bullshit. There are definitely benefits, though, I think. Physically, and I think evolutionarily, it makes a lot of sense not to be busting a shitload. It doesn't make sense to masturbate, a f- period, full stop. There's no there's no reason to. But when it comes to sex, were humans having sex loads and loads and loads and loads and loads? Who knows? They definitely weren't jerking off. That's my point. I'm not going to stop busting nuts in sex. I'm not going to stop that anytime soon. Maybe I will in the future, but... By the way, this is a quick porn channel. I will move into uh, teaching guys how to quit masturbation and um, semen retention stuff, but I won't be using all of those pseudoscience stuff. I think that quitting porn is the definitely the priority for most guys because porn is um, has, has a lot of heavy consequences and people want to stop, but they feel like they can't. That's the problem. Feeling like you can't is a problem because with everything else, you feel like you can, apart from the things you've been convinced to think that you can't. That sounds like a tongue twister, but it's not. When you're with other stuff that you've used inconsequential, you'll just change. But as soon as you start viewing it as hard, or as soon as you start viewing it as being able to change your thoughts, it becomes very difficult because you're viewing it in this extreme light. And then along comes addiction ideology, which makes it all worse because they say, ah, it's due to dopamine, and it fucks everything up. That's the problem I'm here to solve in this channel. I'm not here to talk about. Um, semen retention and the and the and pseudoscience and all that stuff. I'm, I'm really here to help you get over this. And even if you don't want to quit, I'm not here to convince you to quit porn. I mean, if you want to quit porn and you feel like you can't, that's the problem. If you want, if you're completely content with jerking off, fucking jerk yourself away. If you see no issue with it, go for it. If you um, so people who want to smoke cigarettes or drink, I don't have a fucking problem with it. Go for it. As long as you're not hurting anyone else, like fucking knock yourself out. If you want to jerk it up, go for it, man. But if you want to stop, if you see this is fucking hurting my life, this is fucking my life up, and I'd see massive benefit if I just stop, but you feel like you can't, and that's a problem, and that, that, that we can solve.